Um, I'm, a, I'm a professor of neuroscience at the Brain and Cognitive Sciences Department at MIT. I also direct the Picard Institute for Learning and Memory, um, which is a independent uh, research uh, institution uh, embedded in um, the brain research um, 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 building, um, which encompasses um, the Brain and Cognitive Sciences Department as well as the McGovern Institute. My lab has been focusing on the pathogenic mechanisms of um, aging-related neurodegenerative diseases, uh, in particular Alzheimer's dementia. Um, so in the last uh, 20 years or so, um, we have been looking at molecular, cellular, and brain circuit um, mechanisms and um, impairment that can contribute to Alzheimer's. Most recently, we have also uh, incorporated human genetics as well as um, epigenetics, epigenomic, and then uh, combines with big data approach to really figure out um, what um, changes in the human brain uh, in different brain cell types that um, may play a role in Alzheimer's disease. And then based on this data from uh, human subjects, we then formulate hypotheses um, and test these hypotheses um, using uh, human uh, stem cell, uh, cell culture models, and uh, eventually in mouse models. I was born and raised in Taiwan. Um, and um, when I was very little, um, I um, lived with my maternal grandmother. Um, and, um, and eventually I learned that she had um, uh, Alzheimer's dementia. Um, and um, my personal experience with her um, actually gave me a lot of motivations to, um, to conduct Alzheimer's disease research. I thought about her a lot. Um, you know, sometimes her very confused um, expression um, such as, you know, all of a sudden she will forget where home is. Um, and so, um, you know, um, and now I also observe in other people that I know of, um, this is really a, um, Alzheimer's dementia is really a, a pervasive um, a disease and affecting more and more people as the society is aging more and more people are experiencing the same experience my grandmother uh, had. So, um, so, you know, I'm really motivated to, um, to really contribute whatever I can um, to provide better insight into what happened in the brain uh, that causes Alzheimer's and what we can do to manage or control this pathogenic process.